Welcome to the Daily Call. Yes, boy. Let me see you all. There's something going on outside that sounds like whales. Like not the country and the big sea creatures. Can you guys hear that? <coughs> Hello. Hey, so I haven't spoken much to you guys in this vlog yet, but I've just been doing some bits and bobs this morning, you know, a bit of work here and there, a bit of editing, a bit of talking to the manager, all of that good stuff. I've realized it's like maybe two, almost 3 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything, so I thought I'd catch up with you guys as I make myself some lunch. How have you guys been? I've just been like recalibrating myself, I guess. Um, there was a lot of things that I needed to work on. I needed to refresh my mental state. I've been feeling so much pressure lately with work and like my age, which is so stupid, but I have. When I feel that pressure, I get overwhelmed and I just stop doing anything. But then I also like talk really badly to myself. And I was like, no, we're not doing that. Like we're gonna reel it in. We're gonna like go back to basics and start meditating. Stop going on social media first thing in the morning. In fact, try and limit that as much as you possibly can, full stop. Even if that means not posting, I know it's my job, but like if I need to take the time off, I'm gonna take the time off because I found that when I was posting, I would start scrolling either before or after posting and I'd just get into this like, I'd just get sucked in and it doesn't make me feel good. So I cut that out and started doing things that keep me in the present. So meditating, going on walks with the doggo, like doing physical things that keep me in the present. I've been working out a lot, you know, all of them good things there. But yeah, I've just been practicing like a lot of gratitude and stuff like that. I think also the fact that it's like not dark until what, eight, 9 p.m. now has made me so much happier. Yeah, I just got stuck in like the cycles of comparison and like perfectionism. I was so obsessed with like making content that's right and that people are gonna like rather than focusing on what I enjoy and being myself. I was like, what should I do? Like, what are people gonna like? Because obviously I've been on this road for so many years now. This has been my job, it's been my career. It's changed so much that I'm like freaking out that I'm not doing it right. I'm looking at all these younger people like, oh, this is what I should be doing. But then I try and do it and I feel like a fucking idiot because it's just not me. So I've just been really like trying to get out of that cycle of like perfectionism and comparison and just get back to doing what feels like me, do what I enjoy. Because at the end of the day, like even if I'm creating content for you guys, like I still need to enjoy it. Otherwise it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna do well. And I'm just gonna be miserable. Feeling very grateful and trying to practice a lot of gratitude, which has been amazing. Like even this morning, I went to the park with Bronson and it was like five degrees. It should feel cold, but it didn't. I was sat on a bench just soaking up the sun. And I was like, this feels amazing. It felt so warm and like just good on my skin. I just sat there and like closed my eyes. And then I was like, how lucky am I that I get to do this? Like how lucky am I that I'm in a position where I can take an hour out of my day whenever I want to sit and like bask in the sunlight. Do you know what I mean? Like not everybody can do that and I'm so blessed and so grateful to be able to do that. Yeah, it's just those little daily reminders. You know, I get to pick and choose like when I want to work and when I don't. Not always, but majority of the time, you know? And I get to do something creative, which is what I love. My boyfriend also bought, it's an early anniversary present, but he bought me an always pan. He bought me two which is amazing. So I've been getting back into my cooking, which is something that really grounds me and makes me feel amazing. I'm um, also kind of low-key, soft, hard launching my hair, which I actually cut myself, insert footage here. A lot of you guys are probably gonna be mad at me, but I'm kind of in my, I need a change era and I'm gonna cut my hair off. I'm sick of it. Also spring summer's around the corner. I don't really want like weighty, long, icky hair. I'm also sick of like my identity being like that girl that can grow her hair or people telling me that my hair's a wig. Like, am I just keeping it long for the sake of like being able to prove that I can grow long hair? I don't know, but I'm over it. Right now, I'm just gonna do a rough cut. Cut it like here. It's gonna grow back, it's just hair. No, okay. No! <laughs> that 
That's so cute. Are you... Why, have I, why did I just, why did I wait? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, the left side is definitely still too long. But I did go to get a treatment with Kerastars at the Trevor Sorby Salon the other day, which is on my TikTok if you guys are interested in seeing that. And the lovely hairdresser, Jade, she actually fixed the haircut for me, which was so good. I'm just so into having this short hair. I love it. I love the way it looks. It feels really fresh and like cute and youthful. Um, and so healthy. You know that saying where it's like when you cut off your hair, you cut off like a lot of old emotions and baggage that you've been holding on to. I feel like I've definitely done that by chopping my hair off and I was thinking about it for so long and I just wish I'd done it sooner now. I kind of want to go shorter, but we'll see. Um, side note, after having that treatment, I've also found a hairdresser that I really like and will cut my hair whilst it's dry, which a lot of places looked at me funny when I asked that. So I'm super excited about that as well. All right, let's get cooking. I'm chatting away. How cute is this bottle with the little koi fish? I figured out a couple of recipes that I think you guys are really gonna like. When that what I eat in a day comes, you guys are gonna scream, cry, throw up because so good. Especially if you guys are like busy working guys and gals, it is just the best. I will tell you something though, those always pans are absolutely sensational. I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna open some packages afterwards. But in the meantime, I've got some catching up to do. I'm just like, oh, I just wanna be outside all day. Same girl. <laughs> I ate that in six minutes. Guys, I think my dog is broken. Keeps chasing the light reflections. <laughs> he literally will stand on my neck just to try and chase light, which is not attainable, which he just doesn't seem to understand. So every day when the sunlight's coming in and there's reflections, he'll go nuts. He'll even smash his head into the wall because he, like, he forgets that he's like a conscious being and all that matters is chasing the light that he cannot physically attain. It's very, very frustrating. Not only for me, but probably for him as well. If anyone has a dog that does this or has done this in the past and they have any tips, aside from like, oh, they'll just grow out of it because he ain't grown out of shit. Please let me know. I don't think it was supposed to be sunny all day, but I'm here for it. That's the thing with Manchester though, like the weather will change like that. But all I'm saying is I'm enjoying this. I've also realized that like, I'm like a day out from my period so for me to be vlogging and feeling this good mentally and physically i don't know what's going on i also realized that i forgot to tell you guys remember like ages ago i said i was going to stop vaping from that day i just quit cold turkey and that was it and i haven't touched a vape since and i feel amazing for it right now i'm just enjoying the sun i am feeling a nap coming on though oh it's too late for a nap though do you know what this jesus and the fact that it gets dark so late is dangerous because I start thinking it's like midday when it is in fact half four so it's too late to have a nap for me right now but yeah I'm feeling pretty sleepy but that is the only period symptom I'm having so far let me not speak too soon knock on wood I think this is the first month actually where my period's not feeling crazy in a long time so let's just let's see how how that goes I probably have spoken too soon but right now I'm feeling great the sun is no longer going crazy in the flat right now. I think it's behind the clouds, so the dog's calm. Yeah, I just thought I'd open some of this stuff. I feel like there's been so many things that I've opened and that I wish I had opened online, so I'm just gonna try and make a point of opening everything on here when I get it and I'm excited about it now. One of the things I'm actually wearing a pair already, basically, I'm doing a job with Amazon Fashion and one of my outfits, I ordered these jogging, joggers, not joggings, I'm speaking half French and jogging. They're literally 11 pounds, I'll link them down below. They fit so well. The shape of them is exactly what I'm looking for. It's got that baggy fit. I got them in a medium just for reference. It depends how you want it to fit, but it's got a drawstring anyway. So, I mean, even if it's a bit baggy, you can always just tighten the drawstring. But I like them to look kind of open size and they have that kind of like almost balloon shape but they make me look like I've got hips and they're super soft and warm as well but basically moral of the story is I couldn't believe how good they were because I find it really hard to find joggers that have the fit and shape that I want especially for my body type I don't really have hips but yeah I just I couldn't believe the price I got them in a khaki I wanted the grey ones as well and another pair of the cream ones but they are not available in my size at the moment so I'm gonna wait it out and hopefully be able to get those colours too but at least in the meantime I can kind of see how they wear because you never know they might get really bobbly or like once they're gone in the wash the, the shape might change but for 11 quid 
banging. If there's no link, it's because I'm busy trying to find my size. <laughs> I keep ordering things off a of TikTok shop, right? I keep seeing people advertise these magnetic lashes. So I was like, okay, cool, let me try. So here we are because I've got um, lash extensions, but I, do you know what? I'm not gonna lie. Like I just find getting them done really uncomfortable. Like it's not awkward, but I make it, it like, in my head, I'm like, this is so awkward because we just lie there in silence for like two hours. I get really restless and irritable. I hate just laying there. I think I've got like a sensory thing with it as well. Like I hate the feeling and the sound of like the separating of my, oh, it's just making me, it's just thinking about it. So like, I love having the lash extensions because it makes my life so much easier, but actually having to go through with the appointment, I can't stand it. Basically, gone off on it. Well, it's not really a tangent, but I got magnetic eyelashes. <laughs> it looks a bit cheap and tiny, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to try it on camera. Obviously I've got lash extensions, so it might not give the full effect, but let's just, there's no instructions. So I've... this is a guessing game, right? And it comes with a pair of these. I don't know how this works. So there's a top set and a bottom set. And as you guys can see, there's like magnets here. I don't know how comfortable that's gonna feel. I paid 30 squid for this, so it better be good. <laughs> one goes on the top, one goes on the bottom like that and then supposedly you just <clears throat> right we'll try that again that did not feel good i think i might have wasted 30 quid i'm gonna be well upset i'm gonna have to write a review babes maybe i haven't like lined them up properly go on <sighs> now my eyes just irritated <laughs> Sorry, but whoever that guy is in the ad. The boy's a liar. The boy's a liar. I don't trust anything anymore. <gasps> it's literally just pulling my eyelash extensions out. Last but not least, it's not very exciting. Well, it is for me, but probably not for you guys. Just for aesthetic purposes, but also just because I love it. <gasps> These are so much smaller than I thought they'd be. I was, I got the jars. These are tiny. I thought it would be so much bigger. Looks like I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on that one. Right, well, this whole haul was an absolute fail. These are all going back because they're absolutely not what I thought. They're so small. Like, how, what pasta am I fitting in that, please? And these are the big ones. The one time I actually opened stuff on camera and everything's disappointing. <laughs> I've made myself a spag bowl kind of vibe. I'm gonna settle down and try and watch Luther for the third time in a row because I keep falling asleep, not because the movie's shit, but because I am just an old lady now these days. So hopefully third time lucky, I'll actually manage to finish it. Should be fine. It's only 11 past nine, so I can do it. 26 minutes, we got this. Okay, I lied, I've got 50 minutes left because I must have fallen asleep for like 25 of them. It's fine, I got this tonight. I'm gonna eat for like, I was gonna say like 20 minutes, but let's not lie, it's gonna take me about five minutes to wolf this down. I'll update you on the wonders and the marvels of whether I'm able to actually stay up past 10 p.m. or not. It's 10 p.m. I made it, guys. I'm very proud to say. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I was a big Luther stan anyway. Yeah, it's made me wanna rewatch the whole series again. I remember the first time I watched it, I, I couldn't believe how good it was. I don't know, I might have to like do a little Luther marathon at some point. I feel like I'm gonna have like, not an early night, like I'm gonna get into bed early. It's 10 p.m. If I'm being honest, I'm shattered. So I'm just gonna quickly like tidy up in the kitchen and then head to bed. Keeping the kitchen and that tidy, trying to do it before I go to bed. So when I wake up, everything's just clean and it's like a fresh start to the day and I don't have to walk into a mess and then be stressed or like frustrated or annoyed that I have to clean up the next morning. And it feels great. I'm gonna jump in the shower, get into bed, maybe do a bit of editing. Oh, I'm knackered. If any of you guys have watched the Luther movie, do you think there's gonna be a second one? I feel like there might be. I really, I'm really hoping there is. But by the ending, I'm guessing there might be. I don't know, what do you guys think? Love to hear your thoughts. I'm taking myself to bed. I shall see you guys in the morning. Show you many reasons, different seasons. Hop in my back and I stay in it. Hit from the back and I stay in it. He is not damn, don't play with her. She's not damn, don't play with her. I got a R O D. 
she got a P and C. Baby girl, you know you was made for me. Hop in my bag and I stay in it. Hit from the back and I stay in it. She is not damn, don't play with her. She is not damn, don't play with her. I got a R O E. She got a P and C. Baby girl, you know you was made for me. Hop in the way and I stay in it. I beat it up, I'm playing it. I bust it up, then lay in it. Let's go again, you okay with it? I'm parked up, valet in it. Shoot my shot and I'm draining it. I'm Steph Curry ain't claiming this. I don't know what you cost, but I'm paying it. All options, I'm weighing it. If I'm going in, I'm staying in. A king bag, come laying it. Day and night, it's the way of life. I'll weigh you out, then take you out to the Waffle House for some steak and eggs. Pulling up, then we hopping out. Got you walking out with the Waffle eggs. Wait, girl, and I peeped you looking like a baddie. You a diva. Pretty face, caramel skin like a Leah. Saw that fatty poking from the back like Serena. So let me see some. Hop in my back and I stay in it. Hit from the back and I stay in it. He's not dim, don't play with him. She's not dim, don't play with her. I got a R O D. She got a P and C. Baby girl, you know you was made for me. Hop in my back and I stay in it. Hit from the back and I stay in it. She's not dim, don't play with him. She's not dim, don't play with her. I got a R O D. She got a P and C. Baby girl, you know you was made for me. She pressure, know that I got you forever. Love her, she got it together. Switching it up when she want, yeah. I seen it the day that I met her. Rocking it off like sweater. Shoes, but take a vanetta. Hey, yeah. Uh, know you got it, girl. Set the bar to shot it, yeah, yeah. Slip and slide it, yeah. Ain't tricking unless you got it, yeah. Can't break that bond, match the charms, and unless she wear everything done, we done did it and we took it there. Cause I see you looking like a snack. Let me see some. You are the wifey type. Maybe you could be one. Let me change your life. I could show you many reasons. Different seasons. Hop in my back and I stay in it. Hit from the back and I stay in it. He is not damn, don't play with her. She is not damn, don't play with her. I got a R O D. She got a P and C. Baby girl, you know you was made for me. Hop in my back and I stay in it. Oh wow, I really did get carried away there today. I've just been shooting a load of stuff and then I like got a case of chronic overwhelm and just lay on the sofa for about an hour. Trying not to fall asleep, I was watching some true crime. I've still got some bits to do. Mm, I really don't want to do it. I'm going to try and push through. It's 25 past six and if I do this last thing, then that is all my like sponsored stuff done so I can send over for approval. And yeah, I did also air up my hair. The sun is coming in and it feels so good. Right now I've just got to do a little try and haul for my Insta stories for a job that I need to complete. I need to message my boyfriend actually. He's in London for a job. I don't know if he's coming back tonight or tomorrow. Figure that out. I also need to figure out what I'm going to eat tonight. I'm probably going to have to go shop. That means two more outings. I've already been out so many times today. Uh, I need to tidy up this room a little bit. Oh, I didn't show you guys my new shoe boxes. I don't know what to do with myself. Do you know what? I get so overwhelmed when I've got loads of things to do. Like I've written out a list and I just procrastinate it because it feels so overwhelming, which is so stupid because they're just like, I know they're easy tasks. I do also need to do my IPL which I'm not gonna share with you guys because I'm doing down there today. <laughs> and a food order. I've done quite a bit today. I'm gonna pat myself on the back. I always feel like, see, this is the thing. I get overwhelmed. And then once I get that overwhelmed, I start speaking bad to myself because I'm like, oh, you're not doing anything. But now just looking through my list, I've ticked off quite a lot of things today. So I don't know why I'm doing like, doing that and why I'm being like that to myself. And I've been gym and I've been vlogging and I've been out a few times. Like, I need to be nicer to myself. This is your reminder to consciously note the things that you do do throughout the day so that when you get into like a weird spiral and you start like telling yourself oh you don't do enough like nothing you do is good enough you've got it all noted down you can look back at it and be like actually i've done quite a lot today yeah i thought i would share the outfits that i'm filming stories for in case you guys are interested everything's from h&m and i will leave all the links down below very cute Imagine I almost forgot to show you guys the second outfit. I can't wait to style all of these pieces in so many different ways as well. I feel like they're super versatile. Can we have a moment for this bomber jacket? I'm in love. I need to get this in every color, like every color. It's so good. And we've got one of those 90s little vest tops, which are always great. I kind of wish I'd got it in a smaller size though. So I might get one in a size down. And then the hip hop honey <laughs> sunglasses. Let me know which outfit was your fave. And yeah, everything will be linked down below if you are interested, as long as it's not already sold out. Because there was quite a few things in that new in section when I was looking that were already sold out. And I was gutted. Oh, I can't get over this jacket. I love it so much. So sick. I might have to order a takeaway tonight. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> 
I'm absolutely peppered. Done. Even Bronson's knackered. The only problem is, there's nothing, nothing that I want on Deliveroo or Uber Eats that like, I'm sick of it all. I can't wait to take this makeup off. I cannot wait to take it off and get in the shower. This stuff's gonna have to be moved to tomorrow, but that's absolutely fine, it's okay. Cause this was the stuff I needed to do, but I did extra stuff as well. So it's all good, right? <laughs> it's all good, it's all good in the hood. It is ripped. It's that type of beeping. We've only gone and got ourselves a delivery, haven't we? Do you guys remember when I used to live in South London with three other people who shall not be named? <laughs> and um, I used to always get what the pit are. They've got it in Manchester. <laughs> And it's been a while, but I'm craving it tonight. I need mean, something like kind of stodgy, but kind of healthy, but like really filling and just comforting. Oh my god, that was a bag of chips if I ever did see one. Mmm, the chips are good as well and they're hot. There's a lot of chips in there. I'm so excited. Also, can we just talk about how much the packaging has evolved? <laughs> I can't wait to talk into this. I think I'm gonna sign up here tonight, guys. I'm gonna eat this, take my makeup off, shower, probably get straight into bed because I am so exhausted. So I'm gonna love y'all and leave y'all and probably see you guys tomorrow. I've been busy tidying, cleaning, doing some washing, deep cleaning the shower. I took a day off yesterday because, well, actually, that's a lie. I didn't take a day off. I did work and then by the time I was like, oh, I could vlog now, I've got time. That is throwing me off. Um, I got a migraine again, right on time because my period came this morning. Woke up feeling hungover this morning. Every time when I'm on my period, I feel like I've got the worst hangover when I wake up. I'm fine now though, as you guys can tell. I've, um, yeah, I've had a deep clean. It's just helped my head. It goes fast asleep. Oh, I do need to move that hoodie off the chair though. Anyway, anyway, I'm very excited. You guys, oh, listen, right? I don't want to hear it. If you've got a negative opinion about this, I don't want to hear it. I basically just managed to get through to a lettings agent. I've booked a viewing for what looks like it could be a dream flat tomorrow. Um, me and my boyfriend both are like, this could be it. Um, so yeah, we've got a, view a viewing book tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. And before any of you guys go, I thought you loved this flat. Like, You've just moved, yeah we have, right? The flat itself is cool. The lighting's not ideal to work in. And it's quite small compared to the two previous flats that I was in. And there's two of us in here constantly all day because obviously my boyfriend, obviously if he's like on a modeling job or a dance job like now he's in London um, or he's climbing, he's not here. But like apart from that, we both do the same thing. So we need more space, we need better lighting. And this flat just isn't conducive to that. And also another thing, some of the people that live here, they're actually nasty. They'll leave all of their trash in the bin shoot room on the floor. Like they won't even bother like, um, tying their bin bags closed so it just stinks there's been vomit on the walls in the like hallways and corridors the other day I was standing outside waiting for my delivery and a fucking cigarette landed on my shoulder so people are like smoking in their flats and then just throwing their cigarettes out the window like I just can't get down with it I really don't like it I love the flat it's beautiful but we need a better environment for work for ourselves also this sofa absolutely not i've constantly got a rigid neck from it but yeah i think we just need somewhere that's more versatile you might have noticed actually we've switched the sofa and the tv but that's literally all we can do in this flat we can't change things around we can't really put our own stamp on it so yeah i'm so excited to go see this flat tomorrow from what it looks like online it is literally the type of flat that we've been wanting for so long and it's got a balcony it's south facing so we get light all day it just looks Mm. Apparently there were some viewings today. Hopefully nobody goes for it because like that flat is mine, okay? <laughs> and I'll fight anyone for it. My boyfriend's coming back tonight. I've also booked in a lash appointment for later because my lash, I've got a bit of mascara on, but they are, they are on their last legs. <laughs> so I've booked in for a, an infill top up. I don't know what it's called um, at 5.30. So I'm excited to do that. Currently, oh, that's see what I mean? The lighting's not, it's not ideal. Do you know what I mean? We need it on all sides of the flat. I can only film this way. And that makes it boring for you guys as well because it's always, you just always see me doing the same thing in the same place in the same shots. It's just not, it's not it, okay? <laughs> I don't really know what to do with myself right now, so I've called the property, I've, I've done, I've been ticking things off my list, you know? It feels good. I'm just trying to get all the admin -y stuff done today. It's Friday, it's bank holiday, happy bank holiday, I hope you guys have a great one. But yeah, just trying to do all my admin -y stuff, like my beauty bits, I need to do my toenails because I've had the same French manicure that I gave myself like six weeks ago. 
still going strong but obviously it's growing out a little bit now yeah i did it for a wedding like six weeks ago and it is holding on strong but i do need to sort that out there's nothing that you want like nothing's appealing that's how i feel today i've barely eaten i don't i've had a biscuit today and it is 20 to 3 so i'm gonna heat up this vegan chicken and sweet corn soup that i ordered yesterday i ordered a chinese like it's a fully vegan chinese place it's pretty good um but there's something about sweet corn soup at the moment that i just love i think it's really comforting especially when you don't feel great so i'm just gonna heat this up and eat it and then figure out something else for dinner later You know the Amazon trackies that I was talking to you guys about? Look at the fit. Do you see how it looks like I've got like thick ass hips? And look at my bum. There's no sag, it just whoop. These are amazing. They're so soft inside as well and so cozy. And like I said, they're 11 pounds. So like, don't walk, run. Right, should we go outside? You wanna go toilet? Mommy's got her lash appointment in a bit. You gotta give me a paw. <gasps> so gentle, thank you. Lash update. I got them done. I feel like they look so much nicer than they did last time, even though it's the same woman that did them. But I think maybe I just got too much last time. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm obsessed. I'll link the place down below if you guys are in Manchester. It's, it's just too good. We can eat cure. Oh my God, I almost had a panic attack on the chair though. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I just start like overthinking and telling myself that I can't breathe and that if I try and swallow, I'm gonna choke or throw up. <laughs> It's so bad. I need to like figure that out. Also, don't look show who's me. back. Da, da, back again. Like you haven't been posting it all over social media. Oh, but this is like, I can control the photos. You look cute though. You have to sh shave it off for a job. I hate it. You just look really young. It's <laughs> so cute. I'm a baby. I look like a cougar. Morning, morning guys. How are we? It is just about to be 9 a.m. Being a bit quiet because my boyfriend's still asleep. I think he's knackered from the job. It's like a you're doing like a high impact dance job slash modeling job. Got the pooch over right here. He demanded to uh, be put on my lap, so here he is. Oh, <laughs> we've just been for a walk, haven't we? Haven't we? Town this morning was an absolute ghost town. You could tell it was bank holiday weekend. It was literally throw up everywhere. <laughs> like pizza boxes everywhere town on a weekend like let me tell you when i'm walking my dog in the morning on a saturday or sunday it's mental like the state that i've seen town in oh my god the other day i didn't tell you guys this is not a joke right i was walking i think it was like 8 a.m on a sunday morning i was walking like on the borders of town and there was this guy and he had like a gimp mask on like a black and red like leathery gimp mask no judgment zone here just it it just kind of threw me back it's not like a normal thing that you see on a sunday morning when you're taking your dog for a walk and um so it was just like he was in my eye line because we he was coming this way and i was going that way you know as you do you like look people up and down like not in a rude way but that's just what you do you just like scope people out so he's wearing like a normal zip up jumper kind of thing backpack and then i'd go down a bit more and he's literally in like y fronts that match the gimp mask 
So bare legs, high fronts, and then like work shoes. I thought I was tripping balls, which isn't possible because I don't do that. It, I was just like, I'm, I'm like, surely I'm not actually seeing this. And I was like looking around to see if anybody else was noticing what I was noticing. Everyone else was acting normal. So I carried on walking, we crossed paths and then I turn around. The white fronts are arseless. So his whole cheeks are out. Picture me now looking around like, why is no one else seeing what I'm seeing? It was a wild Sunday morning. On the cards today, oh my God, the weather's actually, it looks like it's turning into a nice day. On the cards today, I am taking it easy. I've been working all week. I'm gonna try and shoot a little bit of content maybe, but mostly what I wanna do is go to the gym. The last couple of days I've, I've missed my workouts because I just haven't felt up to it which is fine like you know sometimes you gotta listen to your body like we have to remember when we're in our periods we are not ourselves like i need to remember to not be hard on myself like it completely takes it out of me i'm gonna try and get a lower body workout in today which i'm super excited for and then we've got a flat viewing at 2 15. bloody hell guys i've had an absolute ordeal just now <laughs> We had the flat viewing, it was amazing. We've put an offer in because it was too good to pass up and it is literally the flat that we've been manifesting basically, like the features that are in it, is the things that we talk about all the time, like in a dream flat. There's so much more room, it's got a balcony, like an outdoor space. It's just gonna be sick. Yeah, anyway, so we got back, bay has gone climbing. I've taken the dog out to go toilet and then I've gone to collect my parcels from the concierge. Getting out the lift on our floor, drop my keys, they slide ac across the lift floor and drop down the gap. Oh, I've got no keys, I, I can't believe, I don't even understand how that happens. And because it's a weekend, I've got to wait till Tuesday because it's a bank holiday, I didn't even realise. Because it's a weekend, they won't be able to get an engineer to like maybe try and retrieve my keys until the working week starts. So that's, that's great. <laughs> I can't believe I've just done that. Like why are your lip gaps so big? <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I'm starving. I can't leave the flat because I can't get back in. So I can't go to the shop. We've got no food in. I can't order a delivery because I won't be able to get back in. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I'm like, should I just have a nap until my boyfriend's back <laughs> just to make the time pass quicker? And that is that for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't worry, I've already started the next vlog. I just didn't film a clip to finish this one off. So that's what I'm doing right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll keep you updated, don't worry. For now, until next time. Bye.